Good morning guys, uh, we start this video exactly where we ended the last video which is the morning, the Tuesday morning and uh, we are now heading down to the beach with the floaty things this time because uh, we did miss them last time so uh, we're taking both paddle boards and I'm going to sit on the beach with the dog for a bit while Michelle and Olivia go out and then when Michelle comes back I'm going to swap over and I'm going to be on the paddle boards so um, this camera is not waterproof so I'll probably get Michelle to film me as I'm going <laughs> so basically what's happening now the guy with the gammy leg has got all the gear all the food all the water and a paddle board with the paddles and the camera just <laughs> so the tide is out but that's not a problem uh, we can just set up camp it looks beautiful and for those that didn't watch last week's video here is the view as you walk down onto the beach <laughs> So now I'm carrying the paddle boards back, fully inflated, and uh, all of the other stuff are in the paddle board bags. So it just saves having to pump them up every time. Uh, and these massive bags actually uh, work quite well for carrying all the other stuff. So both rucksacks are in, and all the stuff. Really awkward, and it's uphill all the way back. <laughs> So Michelle said she was just going to nip into this shop uh, to buy an anklet and it feels like she's been in there for about 40 minutes. Two hours later. <laughs> Took you ages though. I know, it, it was a lot of choice. <laughs> right then, on to the next shop. Literally been zigzagging all the way down here and I keep having to come into the shaded area for Branston because I don't want to be walking him in the sun obviously. Um, oh, oh, there we go, they're off over there so I'll just stay over here. There is a fish and chip shop. Whether that fish and chip shop is as good as Yorkshire fish and chips it remains to be seen. Right, so I've changed my mind. I'm going to get a black dry robe with like the, the blue interior. It's quite blue. Um, and I think Michelle and I are going to use it together, if that makes sense. Well, we could probably both get in it, to be fair. But... You know, I'll be using that when I go camping and sitting outside at fire. But then, you know, we can get changed uh, on the beach and stuff like that. And if we get really cold at night, then we can argue about who puts it on. Um, so that's basically how that's going, isn't it? It'll so keep me next to your fire longer. Exactly that. So it'll keep Michelle out longer yeah. uh, next to the fire. So um, in the true spirit of trying to support local businesses and stuff like that, I know Dry Robe isn't a local business, but this shop is a local business. Uh, I think I'm going to buy this from these guys rather than buy a dry robe online. So Olivia's gone in to buy a handbag, but I forgot to mention that the... Sh oh, brilliant. <laughs> I forgot to mention that the shop that we're just in that I bought the dry robe from actually does uh, kayaks and stand-up paddleboard tours and stuff. So you can go in there and they'll take you on a guided tour around the bay and things like that. And I think you can also hire uh, the kayaks and paddle boards as well. So yeah, worthwhile uh, nipping into the shop OSKC water sports i think it's called uh, i'll do some b-roll of the shop front over the top of this so then you uh, you know exactly what we're talking about but yeah looks ace uh, there's plenty of places obviously you can hire paddle boards from but they do the tours as well which is ace test is, are these as good as Yorkshire fish and chips? Who knows? I'll let you know. So we just sat waiting for our fish and chips with the gangster with her uh, sunglasses on. Got them ordered. Can't wait. I am starving. All good, Connor? Lovely. Thank you, mate. Have a good night, mate. See you later. Thank you. Chippy chips! 
Right, so basically what's happening here, and it's a problem, is I wanted to eat my fish and chips straight away, go up to a bench, eat them, get them smashed in. No, these guys want condiments, side salad, tables, knives and forks. No, it's not about that, it's not about that. It's about eating it and getting it smashed in. <laughs> so now I have to walk all the way back to the campsite before I can eat my fish and chips. They'll be mildly moist and a bit cold by the time I get back, and that bothers me. I am literally on a fish and chip mission right now. I'm smashing it up this hill. I've already had to walk back down it again to let a car through. It's really annoying. It's my fish and chips. Fish and chips. It's time. Oh. That's all he's going to be on. chanting all the way up. We can do this. We can do this. I still haven't told Michelle that I've ordered myself an extra fish. <laughs> cars? No cars. Right, go. Fish and chip time. Right, dinner done. I'm chilling out now. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it a day or two before I start filming again. But uh, yeah, family time obviously is dead important. So I've had a bit of a sort out of the van. Everything's looking snazzy. Going to have a shower, play some cards, go to bed. Done. Okay, I shall see you in the morning. See you, bye. like a smurf uh, it's because I've got the light on the uh, bottle there um, I'm just checking in because I've not done a bit of video for ages and I thought to myself well I better do a bit of a video update just to let you guys know what's going on um, we're just having a bit of family time it's been lovely and tomorrow morning I am getting up at about four ish maybe half four get the cupper on and walk down to the beach and try and get some um, morning sunrise shots so apparently it's going to be misty so fingers crossed it'll be nice if not it'll still be ace so uh, you're going to come with me down to the beach to uh, take some morning photographs so yeah I need to go to sleep now otherwise i won't get up right i'll see you in the morning see you bye <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's quarter past five and the sun is due to rise any moment now and I can't find a composition. <laughs> now the idea was that I got down here and I found somewhere biblical to take a photograph and uh, and then I showed you guys it but at the moment I'm struggling. The sun is due to come up any second and I have no idea what I'm going to photograph. Uh, somebody's left their wetsuit over there. <laughs> don't know. There is uh, uh, a lady's gone for a swim. Oh, she's got out now. She came down for an early morning swim. Probably thought she'd have a place to herself. Nope. Colin's here with his uh, with his dry pod out. <laughs> well, that's me done for the morning. It's. Uh, 10 to 7 and it's time to go back and have another morning coffee I've had one already but you know me I don't function without having lots of coffee <laughs> so I'm back and uh, it's about half past 8 and it feels like I've been up all day It's uh, it feels like dinner time and it's half past 8 I've had a shower, I've got things sorted it's great, I'll probably crash later on uh, and need a nana nap but uh, apart from that I feel great um, so just been having a look at the photographs there's one that i'm really happy with and i'll pop that up now or i might have already popped it up um and then um 
there's another one that I took last night that I really, really like of the boat. Uh, and there's two people stood there on the right hand side and everything. So that's pretty nice. So I'll probably pop that one up now, if not already. Um, yeah, so a successful morning and evening. Uh, random evening though. I didn't expect to get much uh, photography wise last night. Um, we went down with the sole purpose of getting some drone shots. And the drone is just amazing. The, the sunset last night was just biblical. Uh, so yeah, I've got a, a, a few photographs that I'm really happy with and also uh, the drone shots as well, which I'm pretty happy with as well. So yeah. Van stash, that's what that is, van stash. <laughs> is beautiful this is golden hour it's absolutely gorgeous the sun is almost setting and it looks amazing campsite tour time uh, we were really close to the amenities but there are plots obviously that aren't so close so bear that in mind there's a dog wash that we use to keep branston cool on hot days and also get the salt off him you can get the salt off your wetsuits uh, the bins were emptied quite regularly there's a dishwashing section which is nicely spaced out loads of sinks uh, they've also got a microwave and a fridge which i think is a nice little touch for those that don't bring things like that in tents you've got a book sharing section that you can replace books with loads of leaflets to tell you what's going on on in the area the showers were just massive they all had a toilet and a sink in them as well um, down this corridor there are shower rooms and toilet rooms and things like that all coming off there which i thought was nice shaving points in all of the sink areas and a bath <laughs> a bath uh, you can do your laundry if you stay in there for a long time so you can put a wash on and there's also dries as well there's a small charge for that uh, ironing board and an iron a uh, hair dryer for quiff and chemical disposal, again, pretty standard for a campsite uh, with also a recycling point. You do get escorted into your plots as well, which I think is nice. So you're not just wandering around aimlessly and there is a coded barrier to get in. So that's good for security. The shop doesn't stock too much, but there are a few condiments. And more importantly, there's cold drinks and ice creams, which really came in handy on those super hot days that we had. We absolutely love it here, Newbury Valley. It was just a random choice of campsite and we seem to have picked an absolutely stunning spot. Um, they also had little pods that you could stay in. Um, well, one, one pod. So if you haven't got a tent and you're in a bike, you can stay in this little pod. Um, there was a lot of people took fishing gear so you could fish on the lake. That was, uh, I went and sat at the lake with a cup of coffee one morning and it was just lovely, nice and quiet and serene. So yeah, bring your fishing gear if you're into your fishing. Fire points dotted around all over the place as well, which I thought was great. The lake itself is gated off and even better, there was a play area which I took full advantage of during this uh, review. I even fell off the slide and uh, the swing and I'm not going to show you that footage. <laughs> so yeah, come to Newbury Valley Camping. It's absolutely awesome. We love it. That was lovely, an evening paddleboard in the sunset. What a beautiful uh, evening out. Uh, but what it has meant is it's meant that we've not been able to have a drink, so first today, nice. 
Mm. No, it's not. That was it. This is the third one. It's my third one. <laughs> um, and uh, we've just started making dinner, and it's 12 minutes past eight. Um, but it's yeah. Like on the continent. Like on the continents and all that. Right. So yeah, uh, burgers uh, again with some salad. Nice and simple. Uh, we just want to get something smashed in because we're all like getting hangry. We're getting there now. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. That was beautiful, absolutely loved it, and yeah, now it's time to eat, so I'll see you soon, bye.